Martha Nelson is an interesting story. It's sort of a change a story. Martha Nelson, when, I, when, when the new boss gets to any new place, you have people coming to them saying, man, you gotta check this out. You gotta check this out, no matter what the business. Well, some staff said, you ought to meet that the older lady over in building whatever it was, I forget. Uh, and her name is Martha Nelson. She's a nice old woman. So I went over there, and she was a nice old woman. Um, got pictures of her, uh, don't, didn't talk much, mumbled a little. And the story was that she'd been uh, put into uh, Orient about 1898 um, at age four, never left. She was shipped to Orient, and then their record room burned down. So there was no known reason uh, why. And we all dis discussed the I ideas. Uh, maybe that was during an immigration period. Maybe she was born Hungarian or something. And she was, that happens, by the way. Uh, you, they, you couldn't understand what she was saying, so she must be feeble-minded. Anyway, she passed away at 103, and I wanted her buried in St. Joseph's Cemetery. So I went to St. Joseph's with a couple of staff, and uh, she meant that much to me. The, the undertaker was a friend of everybody. He was taking care of that part. And I said, I'd like, this is Martha Nelson. He goes, well, uh, you know, I don't think we have space for her. And I said, what are you talking about? Well, anyway, long story, make a short story out of a long story. We do have a spot in the paupers section, like P-A-U-P-E-R, meaning poor. I guess. Uh, so we said, hey, we'll do it. where is it? Well, it's up on the ridge up there. So I forget who was with me. We went up on the ridge and it was, we looked down on normal people's graves. And I said, this is rich. I mean, no matter who you are, you end up here. And so I got, uh, the state wouldn't buy a stone. I bought a stone and the cemetery wouldn't let anything on it because pauper's graves don't have not, names on gravestones. We're back to the institution again. This is in 1974 or something. So I said, the hell with it, I will pay for it. So I'm thinking of what to put on there. Here's Martha who, who withstood all our crap for, till she, in well, 103 and uh, for whatever, 98 years, she withstood what we had to give her. Well, she ain't gonna withstand anymore. So I got a hold of a guy that does things on gravestones, and I, gave, I told him to put on their race ipsa loquitur, which legally means let the evidence speak for itself. 